Capricorn, you need to know this right now for August the 23rd through August the 24th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for August the 23rd through August the 24th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Capricorn for August the 23rd through August the 24th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Capricorn for August the 23rd through August the 24th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Capricorn. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Capricorn, these are your cards, honey. So, Capricorn, you have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So listen, Capricorn could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Now, you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak, you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed, yes. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played, and you're wanting to muster the strength and courage to come in and do something about it. Capricorn, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you, or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Capricorn, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the Emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the Emperor for Capricorn. Clarify the Emperor for Capricorn. Clarify the Emperor for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. 
This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Capricorn. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Capricorn. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Capricorn. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now listen, it very well could be that practicality slowed down tremendously dealing with someone with work or business here, an actual change in your luck and fortune, something going on with the finances here or the lack thereof. However, dealing with this Aries, this Taurus, this spouse, this parent of your child, and maybe even you taking, this, taking on this energy of taking control here, has gone stagnant and broke up with someone because everything between you guys has changed. Capricorn, you have the king of pentacles. This is you, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager, so Capricorn, this is you. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. What about Capricorn? What about Capricorn? Clarify the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. For Capricorn, clarify the world. For Capricorn, clarify the world. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the Two of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Now Capricorn, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you close out a cycle here completely? Should you, shouldn't you come back around again to this person or allow them to come back around again? Or you're telling me that you're closing out a cycle here because of juggling. Capricorn, you have the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Capricorn, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here, but in tarot tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Capricorn, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. 
This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. So it very well could be an ending to this because you guys broke up and you did go stagnant here, okay? Because something between you guys has changed. Capricorn, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. But you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Libra. But you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Capricorn. Clarify justice for Capricorn. Clarify justice for Capricorn. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith. Take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with a Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Capricorn. Clarify the fool. For Capricorn, clarify the fool. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So listen, Capricorn, could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Capricorn. Clarify the lovers for Capricorn. Clarify the lovers for Capricorn. It is clarified with the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Capricorn. Clarify the page of cups for Capricorn. Clarify the page of cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Now listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that someone, either you or them, because you can tell me you're hurt by it, or you're feeling remorse and regret because you did it, that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship with another other lover because we found these love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love, giving more somewhere else, giving to two here. Hmm. And could be going to the justice system for a legal separation or divorce or someone is feeling like something wasn't fair, balance, or just here. But Capricorn, listen, I feel like you're debating on whether or not to come back around again to this person or allow this person to come back around because it very well could be that Someone is coming in to bring balance here, apologizing and maybe giving the other something, bling, bling, shiny thing with commitment on the brain here, okay? So it's about whether or not to take this leap and come in with this offer and give to them or to accept this offer here. You're going to have to tell me. Capricorn, I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you.
And so, I regret lying to you. I regret lying to you. So someone was a little liar over here. Hmm. I'm going to take a look at the Lover's Oracle for you. Capricorn. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Okay, so romance is in the air here. You know, I don't know. Someone looks, looks like they're trying to jump high to get the other person back after some type of disappointment here, after some type of breakup here. Capricorn, you need to know this right now for August the 23rd through August the 24th, 2023. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You guys like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.